Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now, if you have the game on Xbox app or Microsoft Store, then you can follow the steps from here as well. Now, I made a separate video if you are unable to launch the game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store, so you can follow the steps from this video. Now, the next step is to the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once, and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. Now, this will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, again make a right click, go to properties. This time, put a check over here and then select Windows 8, hit apply. Click on OK, launch the game. Still not working. Then this time select Windows 7 over here. And then hit apply. Click on OK and then launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still the game is not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step. Next step is to try running steam and the game as an administrator so when you you can close steam first of all if the steam is open you can close steam now once steam is closed you can type in steam and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then try to run the game even the game as an administrator so try steam and the game both as administrator and then check you can even try dash dx11 or dx12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash dx11. And then you can close this, launch the game and then check if that does not work. Make a right click once again and this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to. Now if you have any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security. And then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down and then you will see manage the ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps, open the common folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already in the list of exception. It's already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to rename config file. Now for this Go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. So over here you can see config file. So you have to rename this config file to uh, config.backup underscore backup. So config, we make a right click and then click on rename and rename it as config underscore backup. And then copy this config underscore default, copy it and paste it in the same location and over here you can see config default now you have to name this as config.i9 so make a right click and then rename and just name it as config now once you have this config file created So once you have this new config created, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. 
So go to NVIDIA website and then select a product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So I'll select GeForce. Now for product series, select your series. So make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. And this is game ready driver. Now click on search and then click on download. Now, once the download is complete, uh, run the exe file. So click on download once again. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. After the installation, restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to now if you're using n version of windows like windows 10 n edition or windows 11 n edition then install media feature pack now for this you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see for windows 10 and if you have windows 10 n edition not the normal windows 10 n edition then go to settings go to apps apps and features optional features add a feature and then type in media feature pack Put a check on media feature pack and then install media feature pack if you have windows 11 and edition then you can again go to settings apps op optional features system apps or system settings optional features so go to here you can see this is the location and then click on view feature and then click on add an optional feature you can type in media feature pack and then install it and then restart your computer and then launch the game now if you have like windows 10 in that windows 10 n edition then you can click on this link media feature pack for n version of windows 10 then you can select your version whichever version you have like 1709 1803 1809 1903 whichever version you have you can select your version the any version which is new to, new to this you don't have to do this so you can select this and then click on confirm and then you can install it from here now the next step is to install direct x so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see download option click on download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then you can agree next uncheck install bing bar next and once the installation is complete restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have any uh, any external devices like hotas wheel or any kind of any adapter usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect additional controller connected to the computer Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it and then disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to general tab and then turn off the option which is enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Next step is to close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, close it. If you have GeForce Experience running, close it. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner reward you know or any kind of overclocking application close it next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game.
Next step is to update your windows to the latest versions. For this open windows settings, go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to install visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here you will see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. You have to download x86 and x64. So download both the file that is x86 and x64. Download both x86 and x64 and then repair. You have to let me. So download both the exe file and then run both the exe file and install it on your computer. And after the installation restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, if you are able to launch the game, you can launch the game and switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. If you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, delete the game folder, and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, any external drive, then in that case, you can try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.